News real, real news, real quick. Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gong warned Tuesday that the United States and China are headed for conflict and malicious confrontation if the United States doesn't change course. The two nations have collided on Taiwan, human rights, trade and technology, and Russia's operation in Ukraine. Qin also said that with China and Russia working together, the world will have a driving force. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky said late Monday that Ukraine will not withdraw from Bakhmut and continue fighting there regardless of the cost in lives. Zelensky's position flies in the face of recommendations both from the Biden White House and Ukraine's top military officials that a withdrawal would make more sense to allow the military to regroup for a spring offensive using new Western-supplied weapons and munitions. Most of those who made their way into the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021 are totally innocent, former President Donald Trump said after Fox News host Tucker Carlson published new footage of the events after House Speaker Kevin McCarthy granted Carlson access to 40,000 hours of security video records from the Capitol. Carlson said the footage shows January 6 were protests and not an insurrection. In his Tuesday State of the Union State of the State address to the Florida legislature, Governor Ron DeSantis argues that the entire United States should be more like Florida. DeSantis has emphasized the, that Florida is successfully keeping illegal immigrants out of the state, criminalizing drag shows, and making guns available for all Floridians. Michael Moore called for a nationwide Walgreens boycott, and Governor Gavin Newsom of California said California will no longer do business with Walgreens after they decided to stop selling abortion pills in 20 conservative-leaning states. Four Americans who traveled to Mexico last Friday in a white minivan with North Carolina license plates to seek health care got caught in a deadly shootout in Matamoros just south of Brownsville, Texas, and heavily armed gunmen kidnapped them after they threw the Americans in the back of a pickup truck. And finally, Kim Yo-jong, the sister of North Korea's leader Kim, said Tuesday that North Korea's leader, leader Kim Jong-un is ready to take quick, overwhelming action against the United States and South Korea after the two conducted joint training exercises over the Korean Peninsula. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.